Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for tuning in today. And thank you for the likes. Um, when it comes to Christian ministry, it's not about the number of likes and the number of followers or how quickly your uh, social media page grows. I believe in touching the lives of some of you um, and to inspire you with some of my personal life story some of my experiences in my Christian journey uh, to uplift you. You know, my goal is to uplift you. So I am happy for one like. I am happy for one follower a week. I am happy for as much and as little as you give. As long as my message of faith, my message of hope, my message of truth is reaching home. So many thanks to all of you for following my page um, over this period of time. And even in my absence, um, some of you haven't given up. Uh, but for those of you who believe in God uh, and connect with me, I am grateful. Look, today I want to touch on the subject of promotion and the subject of humility. Today, I looked at the book of Matthew, chapter 23, verse, um, and it inspired me to share this brief message. Um, and this message is about wanting to grow, wanting to be exalted, seeking promotion, or, you know, be, everyday growth in your life. Um, and the book of Matthew tells us that Whoever seeks to exalt himself shall be a base. And then it continues to say, Whoever humbles himself shall be exalted. I couldn't tell you why I felt connected to this Bible verse. Uh, but yet again, I want to challenge your Christian faith. Um to look at the humbling aspects of life sometimes the the little things of life is what we need to build the building blocks to success to achieve the heights that we are seeking it all starts by being humble by looking at the little things by singing praises about the least of them all um, and I want to encourage you, if you are a sister like myself, um, if you've gone through some life challenges and praying to God for that promotion, for that business growth, for those opportunities. Um, the book of Matthew, in the way I understand it, is to start appreciating the little things because that's how God allows things to grow. When you exalt yourself, it's like filling the whole space, filling out your space such that God is not able to fill you because you are already full of yourself, so to speak. But to humble yourself is to tell God, God, I leave the space for you to do your own thing. I trust that God, you can fill the space that is left above me. The space that is left around me is for you to allow growth to happen. So let me say a short prayer with you. Father in heaven, I thank you in the name of Jesus. I thank you for sustaining our lives. And I thank you for this moment to be able to share this brief word of God with my sisters and the brothers in Christ um, and those who believe in God or those who are seeking words of encouragement, uh, words of empowerment. Lord, I thank you for this platform and I thank you for the amazing work that, Lord, you are yet to do in our lives within this space. And I pray and trust that, Lord, the petitions we have put before you shall be answered. 
and God, we are going to learn from the message of humility because it is through humility that, Lord, you are going to bless us. We thank you, Father, for giving to us even before we have asked. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Um, like I started saying this week, I am just a simple everyday person, everyday woman who believes in Christ. Um, I'm not a priest, I'm not a pastor, but I believe that I have something to share with um, within my community and those within the sound of my voice. Um, it is my prayer that you find uh, these short video sessions helpful, um, maybe through my ministry through my Christian ministry, you can connect with someone and uh, you find helpful uh, the messages that I share. I encourage you to continue reading the Bible, study the Bible, uh, because in the Bible contains a lot of um, words of wisdom that are good for teaching, good for admonition, good for encouragement um, for us all. That is my faith. That is my belief. Um, and I trust that you find some of my words encouraging and inspiring for you. God bless you today. God bless you always. It's me, Lillian, or Akos. God bless you and catch you another time. Bye-bye.